How long should you wait before applying minoxidil after derma rolling? Using topical minoxidil is one of the strongest and quickest hair regrowth treatments, as evidenced in countless clinical studies and anecdotal stories. People can expect to regrow hair in very little time, even in less than three months, if they combine it with a microneedling device, such as a derma roller. But despite of all of this research, there's one important question that remains to be answered. Is it safe to use minoxidil right after Microneedling? How long should you wait before applying minoxidil after derma rolling? Will you get side effects if you use it right after? These are questions I get all the time from my viewers. So in this video we will explain in detail all we know about microneedling with minoxidil in order to answer these questions. We will look at the most trustworthy pieces of information, namely clinical studies, in order to answer what the best approach is when it comes to regrowing your hair. Because if you overdose of minoxidil some possible side effects are heart palpitations, headache and even fainting. And despite wanting to display again luscious hair, no treatment is worth it if it's going to be dangerous or mess with your health. So we are going to see what is really the best solution to regrow your hair while also staying on the safe side. To start, why are people using minoxidil with a microneedling device? Well, the reason is pretty clear. If you look at these Reddit posts, you will see one thing they have all in common. They combine topical minoxidil with the derma roller. In fact, a study in 2013 proved that when using minoxidil alone, you will recover in average 22.2 more hairs in the same area. Meanwhile, if you use minoxidil and a microneedling device, the results are much, much better. Namely, you can recover 91.4 for more hairs per square centimeter. That's four times better results. I would say that I was also personally always an advocate and firm believer of the combination of these two treatments. After all, these were my results after only 10 weeks of using minoxidil in combination with the derma roller. For me, I applied minoxidil every day and microneedled once a week. This was in part because of all the Reddit stories I have read over the years where people showed that the combination of these two treatments will not only give you much better results, but also in a much shorter time. Then there are hair loss doctors such as Dr. Vikram Jaya Prakash from the YouTube channel The Hair Loss Show who directly says that it's no issue to use minoxidil right after microneedling. One of the hot questions that comes up on my channel a lot is if you use minoxidil immediately following a derma rolling session, are there any contraindications to doing that? Or should you wait the 24 hours that kind of gets thrown around a lot? I'm perfectly happy with someone using a minoxidil straight after derma rolling. One could argue that the absorption is probably higher in that scenario because the penetration, because you made these little micro dot holes in the surface of the skin. So the penetration for the minoxidil, the absorption will be higher and therefore the effect will be greater. So I don't have an issue with that. Do I think that everyone who uses minoxidil should be derma rolling? Not necessarily. I think that the absorption through the skin is is excellent however is this really so despite him being a doctor he does never really explain why this is the case and while doing my own research i found some really interesting but also worrying results that i want to share with you now before showing you the results it is helpful to understand why people are cautious about using minoxidil when it was first discovered it wasn't for hair it was actually developed as a treatment for severe high blood pressure minoxidil works by relaxing blood vessels allowing them to widen so blood flows more easily but besides lowering blood pressure doctors noticed something really surprising patients were suddenly growing more hair that's how topical minoxidil for hair loss was born these days oral minoxidil is rarely used for hypertension. There are safer and more effective drugs for that. But minoxidil has stayed with us as one of the most effective treatments to combat genetic hair loss. And an important thing to note here is that for treating hair loss we have topical minoxidil with a 5% concentration, like the one I have myself, which is the same as 50 mg per 1 ml. Oral minoxidil, on the other hand, is usually prescribed in doses ranging from 2.5 to 5 mg for hair loss. So so why is topical minoxidil so much higher in concentration compared to 
oral minoxidil. Isn't that dangerous? The answer is that the systemic absorption of oral minoxidil, the pill, is much higher than topical minoxidil, which you apply to the skin. Despite topical minoxidil having 5% concentration, which is 50 milligrams per milliliter, the normal absorption is about 1.4% of that, meaning you are in reality absorbing about 0.7 milligrams systematically from one milliliter dose. As mentioned before, oral minoxidil is prescribed at 2.5 to 5 milligrams per day for hair loss. So 0.7 milligrams topical is much less than 2.5 to 5 milligrams. Now, the function of microneedling is precisely to improve the absorption of topical minoxidil. So here is where we need to be careful. Microneedling opens up microchannels in the skin that remain open for roughly 24 hours before healing again, as shown in several studies. This means that you are not longer absorbing 1 or 2% of topical minoxidil, but much, much more. We don't have direct studies of people who apply minoxidil immediately after microneedling versus those who wait 24 hours. But we do have studies on micro Microinfusion, which is very similar. A microinfusion device delivers liquids like minoxidil directly into the scalp as it punctures the skin. In other words, it mimics what you are essentially doing with a derma roller or a derma stamp, except in a more controlled and medical setting. One recent randomized clinical trial of 2025 found that when minoxidil was delivered this way, patients actually experienced measurable drops in blood pressure. That's a strong indication that systemic absorption can rise significantly when minoxidil gets past the skin barrier. In another study, it was estimated that when 2 milliliters or 5% minoxidil solution was applied using microinfusion, about 0.19 milliliters actually reached the dermis. That works out to roughly 9.5 milligrams of minoxidil being delivered directly under the skin. To put that into perspective, that's basically the same as taking a high dose of oral minoxidil to even treat high blood pressure. So yes, when you push minoxidil past the skin barrier, you can reach systemic levels similar to oral minoxidil. And this isn't just theory. There are also reported stories of people who had issues with this. For example, a 29-year-old man fainted, what's called a syncope, after weeks of using a high-dose topical minoxidil. In his case, he was using 12% topical minoxidil, way more than the normal and recommended 5% topical minoxidil. This is just an isolated case, but it proves the point. Systemic side effects of topical minoxidil are real, even if they are rare. Researchers are aware of the risk that minoxidil could get absorbed into the bloodstream more easily after microneedling. So to address this, here's what they did. In all existing randomized trials, participants kept using minoxidil twice a day, but on microneedling days, they were told to skip it and only restart 24 hours later. And here's the key point. Even with that full day break, the combination still worked much better than minoxidil alone. The fact that researchers deliberately avoided minoxidil for 24 hours is a strong indication. They clearly anticipated risks like skin irritation or excessive systemic absorption if it was applied right after microneedling. Now, I'll be honest. So far, I applied minoxidil right after microneedling myself. I got great results and never experienced any problems. But after seeing all of this research, it makes me wonder. Because while minoxidil is one of the strongest tools we have against hair loss, it is also a vasodilator and lowers blood pressure. Playing around with that is not okay. So here's my takeaway. If you want to stay aligned with the best advice, wait 24 hours before applying minoxidil after demo rolling. That's exactly how the clinical trials were designed. It lowers the risk and it still delivers the long-term benefits you want. Also, very important to note. This isn't medical advice. I'm just sharing the research. If you choose to experiment differently, that's up to you, but I would be cautious. And I want to know, what about you? Have you tried applying minoxidil right after microneedling? Did you get any side effects or did it work better for you? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, I wish you a happy hair journey. Bye.